There are still millions of people without power in Texas, more than 3 million at this point. Residents have been left in the cold. They've been frustrated in the aftermath of unrelenting storms there. And the images, well, they're heartbreaking, and they've been shown across the country now. The state's power council says power generators began going offline Sunday. And then on Monday, they decided to use rolling blackouts to ration electricity, but it didn't really work out the way it was supposed to because many people have been without power since Monday, and um, what was promised didn't really happen. So now you're seeing what's the next stage. Pipes are bursting. Mm -hmm. um, you're seeing lots of damages to people's homes. They're being told that they have to uh, boil water. They no longer have water. And, but, of course, it's a little hard to do that when you don't have electricity. Um, so ceiling roofs, they're collapsing. So many people are commenting and seeing all the videos that are being shared out of Texas. And as many of you know, the situation is hitting very close to home for me, my own family. They're part of the millions that have been dealing with this and what's been happening in Texas. Um, here are pictures from this was Monday when they were in the home, my, my parents' home, and they didn't have power, so they were just using the fire. Thank goodness we had a fireplace, and they mm -hmm. were using that to cook dinner, to stay warm. It was all they had, and so they were all gathered there. But luckily, we were able, we were very fortunate, we were able to get a hotel room, and they've been there since Tuesday. Um, I think Tuesday, yes. And so now we're checking in with my dad and grandpa, and mom is behind the camera. Hi, Glenn. So my mom, too. Hey. <laughs> Mike, grandpa. I haven't seen you in forever, man. I know, my good. It's, it was in 2019 the last time I saw uh, your family, Alex, my goodness. It's certainly been a long time. And Grandpa, he's a little hard of hearing, so my dad's going to relay messages to him so he can hear as well. But hi, Grandpa. And hi, Alex. <laughs> so, Dad. I guess he heard your voice. <laughs> yeah, he, he must know my voice. Dad, how would you describe this experience? I mean, I'm sure it feels longer than just a few days, but what has it been like? Well, I mean, we're still going through it, so I'm not using past tense. I mean, mm -hmm. today's challenge is going to be we got to go see if there's any damage at the houses. The roads are worse than yesterday, mm -hmm. but we, we don't have a choice. We've we got to get out in it today, so we're going to start early, and uh, probably as soon as we finish here. And when he clarifies by houses, he means my parents have their house, and then my grandpa lives in his own house. And it's interesting because you went to go get grandpa, and you were so brave to do that because, you know, in Texas, we're not used to driving in snow, but you went to get grandpa because his yeah. power went out first, right? And then what happened? That's right. That's, that's right. So we get to his house, we bring him in. Of course, he was reluctant to come. Everybody wants to stay in their own home. But we insisted, so we bring him to our house, and we walk in, and there's <laughs> there's no heat, no no electricity in our house. Oh, jeez. Uh, but, but at least we, you know, I had just, and, and, and Alex knows this isn't me at all, Something told me two, three days before to get some firewood because I heard of a place where there was some free firewood. So I, so I loaded up our SUV uh, with about, I say, a quarter of a quarter of firewood. And, and, and that's what sustained us. I, I don't know how we would have made it no. if I hadn't gotten that firewood. What's the water situation? I hear that like maybe five to seven million people still have to boil water. What happened? Is the water contaminated? Well, uh, as I understand it, yes, it is uh, where there is water. Now there are, there are places where there is no water uh, because of the main the, the main pipes bursting, mm -hmm. uh, and that's one of the things we want to see. There's some places where there's been damage, and we want to see if our house has been damaged. So the water situation here in the hotel uh, is, uh, you know, it was it was out completely for about four hours yesterday, but they were able to restore it. Oh, thank God. And that's so, what I got, because you guys yeah. sent me that picture, because it's, I feel like it's been up and down. We're like, okay, we got a, we got a hotel, we got grandpa, great. Oh, wait, now we don't have power. Oh, man. We got a hotel, <laughs> great. Oh, now we don't have water. Oh, man. Um, so you sent me this picture last night, and I'm like, every time there's some relief, something else happens where they're mopping up the floors. Um, so you guys yeah. do have water at this point? I believe we, okay. we have water and it is hot. Uh, you nice. know, it's wow. it, it's interesting talking about this in past tense because it's still going you know, on. It's like yeah. knowing the end of a story. That's but true. Um, uh, actually, when you're doing it in real time, everything is a mystery. You know, you wonder what the next ca uh, calamity will be. Because mm -hmm. um, people so, keep asking, and I know I've been asking you, Dad. Well, when are you going to go back home? Are we going to do another night in the hotel? And the problem is you can't trust because the power will come back on for a little bit. Like, how do you know when it's time to go home? 
that's well i mean you have to make a decision i mean uh and so i made a decision that we're going to go home uh saturday morning saturday you know, so, wow. uh, because that's when things go out i can't let the texas electricity grid play me over and over and over again you know? mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be on in an hour it's going to be on in two hours it's going to be on in four hours and that's what gets you sucked in if they had said from the very beginning look leave and find some place warm i think people would have been been okay the problem was they kept telling us this this only be a short while and so we got suckered into staying in our homes is and so forth yeah, so i just butts. made a decision this is a complete failure yeah. on the texas power grid yeah. um grandpa folks have well, been asking about you they've been sending well wishes um how are you doing I didn't mean okay uh she, she said folks have been asking about you and, and she wants to know how you're doing oh i'm doing great uh since uh my son picked me up from my home uh there i when the power went out you don't have any heat you don't have any heat you don't have any hot water then you don't have any way to cook food and that sort of thing. So I'm doing great now and I, I enjoyed seeing my son uh, make the firewood in the fireplace. <laughs> uh, he, he made it look like a bonfire. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, Grandpa, in your 91 years, because you've lived in Texas all this time, have you ever seen anything like this? See, in your 91 years, have you ever seen anything like this? No, I've never seen anything this bad and this long. Uh, I think I'm, as I listened to the news back in uh, 1983, that was the cold spell, but, but yeah, it went down in the mm -hmm. single digits like now. And I remember I went to my father's house in the little country town and uh, had a few cattle there and all the uh, ponds was frozen over and so we had to get ax and pick to break the ice so the Just to cows get could get water. Wow. So about that's the about the closest yeah, the yep. experience mm -hmm. I've had. Well, Dad well, and the, Grandpa, I just love so you. Go ahead. No, oh, I was just going to say, uh, just so you guys know, we're, uh, we're a cattle family. That's that's. Dad grew up on a uh, on a ranch. That's cattle is how he made his living before he went to college and moved to Dallas. So everything comes back to cows for the holiday. <laughs> yeah, it comes back to cows and fathers and sons mm -hmm. taking care of each other. And daughters. <laughs> I love y'all so much. I'm going to keep calling. I've been calling every couple hours. I miss you. Yes, and you everyone's have. loving the Waldorf Astoria. That's what we're calling where they're staying now. Because as a joke, <laughs> my parents told Grandpa that that's where I got the maroon. And it's not the Waldorf. No. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're not well, near New York City. Well, it's a funny story for Philadelphians. The first thing I thought of when, when I thought of hotels is, you know, we're going to stay at the Four Seasons. So I called the Four Seasons, and they were $550 a night, and they had no rooms. Well, there's always uh, Four Seasons landscaping, because they do have rooms. Too. Well, <laughs> <laughs> good to see you, I too. I love you both. Hang mwah, in there. Mwah, mwah. I love you. Mm, we love you, too. And, and, and by the way, folks, that you're living here in the East, it's not that they can't take cold in Texas. You're like, oh, it's so cold. It's the power grid. The, the eastern part of the United States says we have our own power grid. The western part of the United States has their, their own power grid. And Texas decided to do it on their own since mm -hmm. the 1930s. We're going to have our own power grid. And, and they we're don't not have the infrastructure it. and all that. It's just a mess. Um, but thank you, everyone. And we know we're fortunate because they're in a hotel and so many people are in that situation. So I don't want to make our situation like we're suffering because there's so many people who have it much worse. So we're grateful. Thanks for reaching out. I Keep on my social media. I'll keep updating on our situation. Okay.